Hi, it's Dominic from SperinoArts.com, and here is your daily pottery tip. If you like this tip, feel free to go to my website, SperinoArts.com, where you can read over 30 blogs about wheel throwing and pottery in general. Also, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel and join my mailing list. You'll see a link in the description below. If you want to see demonstrations of some of the tips that I give you, feel free to go through some of the backlog of videos that I have and you can see everything that I talk about. So here is your daily tip. Sticking on the subject of trimming. After you've done trimming things, I really recommend using a green scrub pad and uh, a nice soft sponge. And I'll show you what I mean. This is a green scrub pad. And you'll see me reference it often in the blog and please feel free to read them. These things are amazing for getting out any little dings, burrs, scratches, imperfections, pieces of sediment that are, are sticking up, whatever. After you've thrown something, uh, I'm sorry, after you've trimmed something, take this, dip it in a little bit of water, and just let it go over like the foot that you've you know, made, just a little bit over here, maybe down the side. And then you wanna pretty much follow it up with a nice sponge. I like using a mud tool sponge find my mud tool sponge somewhere. Oh, here it is. Still nice and wet. That's my mud tool sponge. Really love these things. And then after I've gone over it with the green scrub pad, I'll then soften everything up. It's going to add a wonderful level of softness and professionalism to your work even if you've just been throwing for a couple of weeks or you're on your first session of classes. So I really recommend use a green scrub pad and a sponge and it will definitely add to the level of your pottery. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also feel free to join my mailing list. There's a link in the description below.